So QMIKIT has just got an update and now this model has got 262,000 contacts. The previous version had 128,000 contacts. So now apparently we can expect much better performance in terms of coding and agentic tasks. This version of QMIKIT will cost $0.60 per million input tokens and $2.50 per million output tokens. We are not going to compare its performance with Cloud Sonnet 4 or Cloud Opus 4. I think this model should give tough competition to Quen 3 and something like GLM 4.5. So Quen 3 235B instruct model has also 260,000 context and it cost only 0.078 dollars per million input tokens and 0.312 dollars per million output tokens so cost wise this is much cheaper way more cheaper than kimi k2 similarly glm 4.5 has got 130,000 context and it cost only 0.3 dollars per million input tokens and 1.32 dollars per million output tokens by the way previously when i tested glm 4.5 i was really impressed by the coding performance so let's just test this new version of kimi k2 for different coding tasks and see how this model actually performs in actual real world coding tasks so before you start please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on that like button as well if you want to use the chat interface you can use it on kimi.com but in our case we are going to use kimi k2 through kilo code you can use it through Klein or Roo code or any other ai code editor but we are going to use kimi k2 through kilo code so if you have not installed kilo code you can just go to the extensions tab inside vs code and from here just look for kilo code and then install it from here once that is done make sure that inside api provider you choose Use your API provider in our case I'm going to just use the kilo code default credits but in your case maybe you can use something like open router so on open router.ai you can just like go there then just create an API key from here and then copy that API key and then pro provide that API key inside kilo code and then from the model section you can just like choose your model from here so once everything's done just click on save and now you can just like start a new chat and now we can just give it a task and see how Kimi K2 this new version of Kimi K2 actually performs so the first coding task that I want to perform is creating a Ruby cube simulator. So this is going to be a 3D Ruby cube simulator and Kimi is going to create an HTML and JS project and it will use 3.js library to create the proper 3D Ruby cube simulator and there should be the scramble and solve button. So I've just provided this prompt and now I'll simply just click on enter and let's just see how Kimi K2 actually performs. So the performance overall actually depends on both Kilo Code and Kimi K2 as well because if the agentic capabilities of Kilo Code is not that good, it will not perform good. So 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 it's not just going to be test of Kimi K2 only, but also for Kilo Code as well. So right now you can see Kilo Code has just created a new file which is index.html, and now it is creating the code for this file index.html. So let's just wait for it to finish writing code, and once done then we can just like test this project okay so now after a few seconds it has just completed this task and before we review our code let's just run this project so i'll just run this command start index.html press enter and this is what it has created okay, it doesn't look anything closer to what we wanted okay let me just click on shuffle okay it's just all over the place the animation is bad the colors are not as we expected so now this doesn't make any sense literally okay so now because it has just failed this task in first attempt let's just ask it to maybe like enhance it the problem is this model cannot accept images so i cannot take a screenshot and ask it to like fix that particular issue or maybe like the overall look of that 3d model so i cannot do that so what we can do we can simply just like explain so i'm just going to give it this prompt to fix the issue and let's just see if it can enhance it improve it so let's just see what it will improve first of all it's going to do some lighting improvements we don't need that we need to just have a better scramble and better solve animation we don't need to improve lighting so far i mean so it has just like enhanced the lighting a little bit so let's just see what other changings it will make okay so now it has just finished editing and now it is asking me to run this command to run the project again and i cannot see anything here the lighting improvements that it made has not worked as expected so yeah i mean it failed this task miserably should we try to give that same task to maybe quen 3 so i can just like change this model from here i can choose quen 3 this one i think quen 3 235b yeah this one so the other one is thinking but let's just use the regular one and this model does not support images again and it does not support caching as well 
this model has got similar kind of context window which is 262,000. So let's just click on save and I can come back to my project. I can delete both of these files from here. Let me just delete both of these files. I can come back to Kilo code, click on chat again. And now let me just provide that prompt again and let's just see what it will create. So now let's just see what it does. So in this case now with Gwen3, Kilo code is actually has it. It has created its to-do list and it has already started writing code let's just see if it performs better this time okay so for some reason this time actually kilo code is following this to-do list kind of like step-by-step -step process so it created a to-do list and now it is following all of these steps one by one and then writing code and whenever it creates a task it just like marks it as done so now yeah i mean it has done that so now it wants me to run this command which is start and then this is rubik's dash cube.html so i can see music press on run and this is what it has done generate cube I cannot see any cube here okay let me just go back and no i mean it has just finished writing code and it is not working as expected let's just see if there's any error on console so there is this uncaught type error this error might be stopping it to generate that cube so at least kimmy in first attempt created that cube so but i mean the only problem was the anim animation but here we can just like enter that error and then press enter and now let's just see if it can fix that error update this code and then again if we run our project we'll see what it will do so now apparently it has just made the changings and we can even review the changings that it has done let's just first run the project and see okay so fail to load 3gs library please check your internet connection internet connection is fine there is no problem with that so let me just copy that again paste this error inside here but yeah, this is not Quen3 test actually, this is Kimi Kero test. So, so far we can see that Quen3 has performed horrible than uh, Kimi K2. Let's just like perform another test and then see if Kimi K2 can actually complete that task or not. So now let's just cancel this current task from here. Now let's just go back to the models and let me just switch back to Kimi K2. And yeah, this particular one. All right, I can simply press on save. I can just go back to my files. I'll just remove this file from here. So far, Kimi K2 has performed better than Gwen3. So let me just add this prompt in here. So this is a prompt to create an autoplay chess game. So let's just see if this model can actually create an autoplay chess game or not. I'll simply just press enter and now let's just see what it will do so for some reason when i choose quen3 it creates a to-do list task and then it follows that to-do list tasks one by one but whenever i choose kimi k2 so it just like straight away just start writing code so i don't know this is maybe some sort of like priority of different models for kilo code but yeah this is how kilo code works with kim k2 okay so now apparently it has just completed this task let me just start this project start autoplay trash chess dot html press enter and yeah okay that's great it has just created this nice looking chess board and yeah okay so autoplay chess is working as expected now which is amazing that's cool i can in fact just stop this game at any point and i can just like make moves by myself before we finish this video i want to perform that same task with something like cloud sonnet 4 then we are going to see how cloud sonnet 4 that has no comparison with any of these models. Cloud Sonnet 4 is far more superior model, but let's just see how Cloud Sonnet 4 actually performs that task. Also Cloud Sonnet 4 sports images and also prompt caching. So let me just create a new task and now let me just provide that prompt. So I'm just going to provide that prompt, press enter. And as you know, this time we are using Cloud Sonnet 4. Another difference is this model has got 1 million context window, which is just like amazing so this time even with cloud sonnet 4 it has created this to-do list and i am expecting that this ai model is going to complete that task in first attempt so let's just see if this ai model can actually complete that task and create a 3d rubik's cube simulator in first attempt another difference that you will notice with this cloud sonnet 4 is this model has capability to test this code directly inside your browser from here from kilo code so you can see right now it is doing the browser use so this is what kimi k2 could not, not do and this is what quen3 could not do as well so right now you can see it is just performing this browser use and in fact it is showing this preview as well in here which is which is mind-blowing okay you can see the testing is still going on after every change that it makes inside code it just conducts this testing and then just like update code based on that testing that's exactly kind of approach that we need 
from this kind of AI model from any sort of AI model which is good in coding or that claims to be good in coding this is just amazing and in fact we can see it is creating the cube of different sizes of different dimensions and then it is just like testing if it can generate that so that's just that's just mind blowing and now you can see even it is playing this simulation and then just like testing the simulation that again is just it's just like mind blowing so whichever model actually sports browser use so kilo code then can perform this kind of testing i don't know if you can do this same kind of testing in Klein as well but this is something that kilo code does apparently it has just finished writing code so let me just run start rubik's r u p i k s dash cube html press enter and amazing this is the cube that it has created now i am really nervous about clicking on the scramble button okay now you can see it is like running that simulation animation so the cube is not actually scrambled i mean it is just like running that simulation but the cube is not actually actually scrambling again i can just like make that solve move that it, it makes that reset move but one thing that you can see like the overall animation looks smooth the problem is every time it makes a move it just resets that move again so yeah that's one point now i have just created this huge humongous cube yep okay so yeah i mean it, it works fine when it comes to like generating that cube or showing that simulation but it is not actually actually solving that that simulation so we can just even the good thing about cloud sonnet 4 we cannot take this screenshot provide that to clue code and then ask it to update it and solve this the, the, this issue so yeah we can totally do that so yeah for sure cloud sonnet 4 performed better than kimi k2 but it did not create a working simulation as we expected in the first attempt so yeah that's one problem but on the other hand kimi k2 created a simulation in first hand but there were some issues in that like overall the smoothness of that simulation but on the other hand can 3 uh, did a terrible job it did not like create anything and there were some errors even to generate a cube so i think it was not very well trained on 3js library maybe or it just like did a bad job terrible job in creating that 3d simulation so if i have to rank i will definitely rank kimi k2 this new version higher than quen 3 and of course there is no comparison with cloud sonnet 4 i'm not comparing kimi k2 with cloud sonnet 4 at all because even pricing wise this cloud sonnet 4 is like far more expensive than even kimi k2 but overall performance wise of course if you are serious about creating some like like really complex project so i, I don't think you should use either like kimi k2 or quen 3 you should use something like cloud sonnet 4 so this was it about today's video if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section i see you next video bye bye